everyone, my name is Lem Turner. I'm a brand evangelist here at Helium 10. And in this video, we're gonna be getting into a quick overview of product inserts. So let's get started. We're gonna be going into our templates tab here within portals. You can see on the left side of our screen, we're gonna click on templates here. And what we're doing in this video is just to go over a quick overview of what are product inserts and why are they important. In the next video, we're going to get into how you go about creating a product insert and the strategies behind it. But right now, we're just trying to get into purely the question of what is a product insert. Well, to speak broadly, a product insert, let's go into this one. Let's look at the preview here. A product insert is exactly as, it's, as it sounds. It's an insert that you put into your packaging for a product. So when a customer receives a product, you're going to get 100% open rate in terms of uh, delivering a message to your customers when putting a product insert in there. So with that, there's a ton of strategies that you can utilize in order to increase uh, reviews, in order to have better customer service, and just provide a overall better experience for your customers. There's strategies to grow your social media or, or off of Amazon platform uh, presences. There's all sorts of strategies that are present within this product insert strategy. So that's what essentially a product insert is here. So we have tons of templates available for you, but let's get into some of the standard ones. We have claim coupon code, social media engagement, warranty activation, and instructions. For the sake of this video, we're gonna get into warranty activation because that's the most common of them all. So why would I want to put to take a, want to offer a warranty uh, for a customer? Well, the purpose of this is because you're trying to get information. You're gonna have a QR code here, probably that you can link to. If you wanna get into more QR codes or understand that, we have two separate QR codes videos for you to look at, so be sure to check those out. But really, if you're, when you're putting in a product insert, if you're offering a warranty, you're trying to just get their email information, which is super helpful for when you have upcoming product launches or things of that nature. The second most popular one is instructions. Okay, if you have a complicated product, you don't wanna have uh, higher return rates or higher refund rates because the, the consumer doesn't understand how to utilize the product. You wanna make sure that they understand how to use the product. So he, here we have an example of instructions that you put imagery in there and Amazon completely allows this. Now one of the big questions around product inserts is, is this against Amazon's terms of service? Absolutely not. It is not against Amazon's terms of service. It's a misleading question. People often assume that it is, but Here's the big kicker is of what is against Amazon's terms of service is ensuring that your language is proper, right? Because we want to make sure that you don't have any improper language of we'll give you a free gift if you give us a five star review. No, that's not it at all. And that's one of the main purposes with product inserts is to increase uh, reviews, right? Of saying, hey, thank you so much for opening this product. Like, let's even look at one right now. Let's look at... Um, Let's get out of this template category. We have this one. Or no, 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 let's go to a thank you one. Yeah, right here. Boom, right here. So while this is something that's specifically for social media, um, we can put in different orientations or different sizes, things of that nature, depending on uh, the size of your product insert. Let's go here. But one of the biggest things that you can do with your product insert is put it in or put a request for reviews, right? You can have the QR code link to a portal that will go directly to them to be able to leave you a product review or any seller feedback. But one of the biggest things that we need to make sure and where customers do get in trouble for being against Amazon's terms of service is saying specific language that looks like that they are trying to manipulate reviews by saying things of like, if you had a positive experience, please leave us a review. If you had a negative experience, please contact us because you're essentially diverting people who have had a negative experience to contact you rather than leave your review. Best things you want to do if you want to just stay within Amazon's terms of service is to just be straightforward and say, please leave us your honest opinion about our product and we'd really appreciate it. That's it. Leave it that simple. Leave it that quick, straight to the point. Link to your product review. You can even do the same type of language for a seller feedback. You can put that in your product insert along with any social media tags or anything like that, or even have the product insert just be solely for uh, developing reviews and seller feedback, and you're going to see massive growth and be within Amazon's terms of service because it will be not be a problem whatsoever. 
and keep, but you do want to keep in mind that you want to put it in your packaging because Amazon's not going to do it on your behalf. So that's one, one thing to go. If you want to learn how to create a product insert and all the strategies that go behind it, be sure to check out our next video of how to create a product insert. But that's it for this video of an overview of what product inserts are and what they can do for your business. So we'll see you on the next one.